The following is an example of a proof that is wrong, a proof by induction that is wrong, and also an example of how you have to be careful how you do proofs by induction so that your proof is actually correct. We're going to prove the following quote unquote theorem that every person on earth has the same first name. That is not a very mathematical statement, so let me rewrite it in a more mathematical way. Let P be the set of all people, dead or alive, on earth or elsewhere, all people. And let S be a finite subset of P. Then every person in that subset shares the same first name. This implies that every person in P has the same first name, uh, but it is written in a more mathematical way. It's, of course, false, uh, but let's see a proof. We're going to prove the statement using induction on the number of elements in the set S. The precise statement is going to be let S be a subset of P with N elements. Then every person in that subset shares the same first name. So let's use induction. The base case is N equals 1. If there is exactly one person in the subset, then clearly the statement is correct because, well, everyone in the subset uh, shares the same name. There is only one person. So the base case is true. How about the induction step? So now we want to prove that the nth case implies the n plus 1th case. So we're going to assume this statement is true for any subset with n elements. And now consider a subset H, a subset of P, with n plus 1 elements. Then H will have n plus 1 people in it. And what we're going to consider is consider a subset that is the first n and the last n, so S1 is P1 through Pn, and S2 is P2 through Pn plus 1. Then both sets have n elements. Then S1 and S2 have n elements, so the induction hypothesis applies to those sets of P. So everyone in S1 has the same name, everyone in S2 has the same name, but then everyone in H will have the same name because these are the people in H all of those have the same name, and all of these have the same name. Then these, uh, this person here will have the same name as that person, but that person will also have the same name as everyone else, and therefore everyone in H has exactly the same name. Therefore, we have proved the induction step, and that by the principle of mathematical induction, every subset of P has that property, so everyone in P shares the first name. What? No, no, this cannot be true. It, this looks like a legit proof by induction of that fact. But of course, you and I probably have different names. So what's wrong with this proof? And the problem with this proof, the way I've written it, is that the induction step does not hold when n equals 1. You're supposed to be able to prove the induction step that the nth case implies the n plus 1th case for any n bigger or equal to the base case. But here, when n is 1 and the size of h is 2, I cannot apply this method because essentially what happens is that h has two people in it. So there's p1 and p2, and there is nothing in between to be able to compare like I did in this proof. In other words, if h has exactly two elements, then my set s1 would be this person, my set s2 would be that person, and just because this person has a name, and this person has a name, I cannot compare the two people with a set of one element and prove that they have the same name. So the induction step doesn't work when you only know it for sets of one person. So no, this is not true, and we do have different names.